Hey guys, today's going to be a really good one for you and I've got a lot of things to show you and talk about so I'm going to try to go as fast as I can and I'm also going to try to link as many of these things in the description below. But what this video today is all about is what I keep in my vehicle for like a bug out purpose. I don't know, bug, bug out situation, but I always keep it in my car. So I have a really big, like it's one of the biggest ones you can get, a uh, solid color Rubbermaid bin or Sterilite or whatever, you know, brand doesn't matter. But it's about, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe four to five feet wide by two to three feet by maybe two feet high. I don't know. I should check, I should check on the uh, volume, but enough with that. You can figure out if you need two bins or whatever. The reason I suggest getting a solid color one instead of a translucent one is that if you keep it in your car all the time, like in your trunk area and you're getting groceries or whatever, you don't really want people to be able to see through everything you have. <laughs> so I just keep it in that. And if I'm picking up groceries and I'm opening up the, the hatch, and putting stuff in other people don't see it oh and always lock your car always okay let's get started I'm just gonna start going through here and talking about everything and why I have it I have a bin of activated charcoal now these activated charcoals are in these uh, like cheesecloth packets this can be used for all kinds of stuff filtering things out uh, taking a little bit internally in case of poison or something like that. Um, I just think that's a good thing to have on hand. A big roll of duct tape. A bandana. I have four cans of this sterno fuel. Oh, and some things I have like four of because our family is four people. We rarely are all in the car at the same time, except for maybe going to church or going to an event or whatever. But, you know, you might not need to be as overkill as I am. Okay, I have four emergency sleeping bags. These are those, um, what are they called? You know, they look like foil, thermo, thermal blankets. I don't know what they're called. Um, a little bottle of Deep Woods Off. Tucker, you're gonna have to wait. Go lay down. Go lay down. <laughs> um, I don't ever use bug spray typically, but I don't know. If I found myself out in the woods and bugs were eating me alive, I'd be happy to spray that on myself. Little sample size bars of soap. A wallet with actual change of all different kinds of coins and an undisclosed amount of cash. A long lighter. A box of wooden matches sealed in a Ziploc bag. I've got this uh, carabiner thing with paracord that if you take off the paracord, there's stuff inside like um, pins and fishing line and you know, a bunch of little gadgets that can come in handy if you need it. An extra charging cord. A flashlight. A bunch of various hand warmers and insole warmers. And I also have five of these Ziploc bags with a bunch of other stuff in it that also includes more hand warmers. So in these five Ziploc bags, I have things like an emergency poncho, a garbage bag, more lighters. I've got different kinds of lighters in each. A plastic drop cloth, hand warmer, a wing stove, Kindling, candy lighters, mainly for wounds, I'm thinking, but you know. A marker, a mirror to signal with. I don't think anyone's gonna care what they look like when they're stuck somewhere. And a safety pin. 
So every single, oh, this one doesn't have it, but the others have toilet paper. Here, I'll show you. The others have like pretty close to the same things, but all the rest have toilet paper and potassium iodide bottles in each one. Now, I would suggest once a year you go through all of this stuff and check on expiration dates and whatnot. Um, for instance, I have a drop bottle or dropper bottle of bleach and also acetaminophen that I probably need to, um, I guess, replace with newer stuff. I'm having like lots of brain farts today. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, bear spray. Now I keep this in my purse, but if you don't keep one in your purse, and I also keep a gun and a knife in my purse, if you don't keep that in your purse or it's not on you, um, you know, get an extra one of these and keep it in your car. Um, a solar powered lantern that also has a, an ability for a cord, and I have the cord in here too, that you can plug in, but I mean, it's solar powered, so. A solar powered and hand crank weather radio. So, I don't know if you can hear that. You want to listen to music while you're stranded? So I'm trying to think of like all kinds of different scenarios for the stuff that I put in here. Um, things like getting lost somewhere in the wilderness or the car breaking down in a snowstorm or a chemical attack or a bad situation that I need to get the heck out of there right away. So, or just regular stuff, you know, sometimes you're somewhere and you need something and uh, some, some, some of this could come in handy. Okay, another garbage bag. Uh, the reason I have the garbage bags, my initial thoughts were things like, um, if you had to remove your clothes <laughs> and put on, like, and like get in a creek or like put on a, I have these like suits, these Tyrex suits that go on your entire body. So it was, or like nuclear fallout or something, or, you know, just trash in general. So I think you should have lots of trash bags. Or if someone got sick and they had to throw up and you don't want them throwing up in your car or something. Okay, um, portable water stuff, but I have a lot of other solutions for that. This is my jumper cable set which also has a tarp, a rope, headlamp, puncture seal, gloves, gauze sponges, traffic cones, emergency poncho, more like caution flags, a bunch of hand warmers, more emergency sleeping bags, flyers. So that's all in there. This is a shovel that you can, that comes apart and you can put together. Oops, I'm doing this wrong. So this would be, you know, let's say, remember in DC a year or two ago, um, they had like a sudden freak snowstorm and people got stuck on the roads and they had to stay there for like three or four days. Well, this would be handy for shoveling yourself out from snow or I'm sure there's way worse situations than that, but, and this is also just good if you have, if you're Let's say at the store and you get a freak snowstorm and you come out and there's like stuff all over your windshield or whatever. This works a lot better than those ice scrapers if you've got a lot of snow on, on you, on your car, not you. Okay, I feel like I've got lint stuck to me. 
I have four safety goggles. Those go in tandem with these suits, and I have four of these suits. So like, let's say I was in the town of East Palestine, or East Palestine, Ohio, and a train derailed, and a bunch of chemicals were going everywhere. Well, my family and I would just put these on, put on our masks, put on our N95 masks, put on our gloves, and get the heck out of there. So, yeah, I know this might be overkill, but um, after seeing what's been going on in our country lately, can't be too prepared. Because if I run out of gas, I'm taking yours. And I don't care. Zip ties. Another emergency water filtration system. Another plastic drop cloth. A Bible. Glow sticks. Some different colors. More rope. I have four life straws. So while I also do have water, which I'll get to, we're not gonna get dehydrated. So this, you can drink out of a toilet with this. You can drink out of any stream with this. You don't have to worry about anything else. And as long as you can find water, you can drink it. Except I probably wouldn't drink con chemically contaminated water that I knew there was just a big chemical spill going into, but anywhere else I probably would. An alcohol stove. Now what these are is it's a quart paint can filled with a, you take out the tube of toilet paper, you smush it in, you cover it with isopropyl alcohol, and then you seal it up. And it burns really clean. You can even burn this in your car. I mean, make sure you don't, you, you would want to crack the windows a little, but you're not gonna, it's not like you're burning propane in there or something. You're gonna want to crack the windows a little to, to give some ventilation, but it's safer than pretty much any other option and it burns pretty hot. Another thing I would suggest now that I'm thinking about it and I do not have, is maybe getting a ceramic tile or a stone or something to put on this to, you know, create a barrier between some part of your car. But even if you don't, if you had to get outside, you could use this to cook with something. Um, I mean, you could set up with that tarp and some rope, a temporary shelter on the outside of your car if you had to, if you wanted to cook and you didn't want all that in your car. But taped to the top is um, matches and some change. I don't know why I put change in there, but I did. Lysol wipes. Baby wipes, a pee funnel. So this is for the ladies. If you have to pee in a bottle or pee outside, it's a funnel. And it comes with an antibacterial hangy thing. So you can fill it with antibacterial stuff Clip it on somewhere and you're good to go. Okay, these things are like what's called neoprene, whatever wetsuits are made from, and they go over your shoes. So let's say you had on flip flops and something happened and you really didn't want your skin or your feet exposed to wherever you were, you had to like hike or get out or whatever, you could use these. Or if you just have on regular tennis shoes and you're in a snowstorm, I mean, that's not great, but these will at least help keep you a little more protected. This mug can be plugged into your uh, car and it heats up water. So 
that's just like a luxury item, I guess, when it comes to preparedness stuff. But I also have a 72 emergency food supply kit. Now this is only good for one person. So if we had four people in the car, it wouldn't last very long, but it would be nice if you could heat up water to make it warm and then mix the meals in here. I also added canned goods. Oh, and one of those bags that I showed you that had like toilet paper and a bunch of other stuff, there's bottle openers. So, or can openers, I mean. Um, a can of coconut milk because it's really calorie dense plus you're getting liquids to help with dehydration and four cans of canned roast beef again it's gonna be better than this survival food stuff and fairly high dense in calories and the, the liquid in there is good as well first aid kit and this one isn't you know extremely packed but it's got pretty much everything you're gonna need. Scissors and Q-tips and gauze and different medications and instant cold packs, tape, all of that, alcohol pads, burn gel, eye pads. So this is in that bin. Sea salt, because if you are dehydrated, it sounds counterintuitive, but if you are dehydrated and you need to replenish your electrolytes, sea salt will help. So if you put a little salt in your water, sea salt specifically, not the other stuff, that can help replenish some electrolytes. And you, you know, you could get something like liquid IV or whatever those different powdered electrolytes are called. That would probably be a good idea to add into your water if you're worried about getting dehydrated. But since I have life straws and can drink pretty much from anywhere, I'm not super concerned about this. Plus, if you have a little sea salt, you know, you can flavor this blander tasting food a little better. And finally, I have these two big jugs of water. Now, yes, I know it's not ideal to drink out of plastic containers, especially plastic containers that might be sitting in your car when it's getting hot. I don't freaking care if I'm in a survival situation. I don't ever otherwise do that. So that's the last thing I'm going to be worried about if I'm in a situation like that. So this is basically only for drinking and only for preparing the like freeze dried meal thing, not for washing hands, not for washing my hair with or something. This is only for that. That's why as far as hygiene goes and everything, the wipes and the Lysol things come in handy. I think that's it. And what I wanted to also say is if you guys know of anything that I'm really missing out on here, let me know. Put it in the comments. Uh, tell me some other suggestions if you think I'm, I've completely missed out on something. And also let me know, you know, if this was helpful and if it gave you some good ideas. And another thing I wanted to point out is yes, this will slightly decrease your gas mileage, but not, not that much. I can load all of this stuff in. I mean, I would have, I would have usually included more canned goods, but it, that gets really heavy and this water is pretty heavy, but I can load all of this in, in a huge bin and carry it. Not really well, not really far, but I can lift it and get it in and out of the car. So I tried to make things, you know, as, as lightweight as possible while being as effective as possible. And with all of this stuff, I have a way to signal, to heat various things, to heat my body, to heat my, uh, the area I'm at, to heat the food, to heat water, um, steel gas, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so hopefully this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.